Hey guys, um, sorry for the late video, but as you all know, I work in retail, so I have to deal with a lot of shit during certain times of the month. And this particular month, I was extremely busy, and I did something which is um, known as slamming, which means I work from the start of the day to the end of the day. So I basically worked 12 hours today, and I'm tired as hell, and I don't exactly know what the topic is for this week, but I am assuming... Sounds like gunshots outside. I believe we're discussing our sexual orientations. Um... And I just thought it would be nice if I just um, debunked some of the stereotypes that um, that go around about guys. One, we don't all have an extremely, extremely high-pitched voice. Uh... I don't think I have a high pitch voice, vo voice, but God damn, sounds like shit's going out. Sorry. Um, we don't all have a high pitch voice. Some of us has really deep voices, and some of us have really high pitched squeaky voices like this. But my point is. We don't, we, the pitch of the voice does not determine a person's sexuality. It just determines how much testosterone is in their body. That was a bad joke. Um, it just basically means their balls aren't doing the, their job, so, yeah. Um, another thing, we're not all about fashion. I may be slightly fashion forward, but I'm not extreme. I'm not extreme about it. You know, like I'm just, I just like looking good. I don't care what the brand is. I don't care if it's expensive. I don't care if it's cheap. I don't, I don't. as long as it looks good and I'm presentable, I'm good. But people out there think, you know, oh, they have to wear Alexander McQueen and Valentino, okay, I do have a Valentino suit, but that doesn't mean, you know, anything. Um, they also think that we have a girly gay walk, but, you know. I really don't think I have one, but I don't know, my friends tell me I do, but, you know. I actually video recorded myself walking on a treadmill, running on a treadmill, I mean. Um, and I look perfectly fine. You know, and I, when I walk down the street, nobody stares at me goes like, he walks like a girl. You know, nobody says that. People also think like I have this girly way of talking, but... Do I? I, I sound pretty normal. Um, they think we're all artsy, we're good with pictures, we're good with drawing, we're good with design. You asked me to design a fucking kitchen, it'll look like a fucking bathroom. You asked me to design a bedroom, it'll look like a garage. I, I can't design shit. They think we're good with music, and they think we're all pretty pretty, you know, like all that artsy, wartsy, shartsy kind of people. But, you know, some of us are really... Bad or shit like that. You know, you ask me to the best thing I can draw on a sheet of paper is a stick figure and nothing better. You know, I could you ask me to draw a fucking dragon, I'll be like No. Go away. If someone held a gun up to me and asked me to draw an anime character, I'd be like Here's your pen and paper, just to shoot me. I I, I can't. I would sooner die than draw something on a sheet of paper that looks like a piece of shit. 
Not really. I actually care about my life, but like you know, you know, you get my point. Um Yeah, so basically like some of the some of the stereotypes are there uh, out there are kind of very uh, stupid in a way. None of the stereotypes are actually you know really um none of the stereotypes out there are actually like really true. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try to not be like so spontaneous next time, but you know, I really don't have a set schedule. They're like, oh, your salary, you do get paid this much a year, and da 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 da, -da and this is your commission, da, da 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 But then, you know, certain days they give us so much shit. It's just like, oh, why did I? I didn't. But I, this wasn't part of my job description, you know. But unfortunately, like, my weeks are hectic and it's going to be like this for a while because um, we, as you know, I work for T-Mobile and we're getting the iPhone. So which means I'm going to be clogged with work when this new phone comes in. I'll be fucked up. So expect this to go on for about another two months. Um, also, since I got a bunch of paperwork to do, I'm going to have to stop this video. Now where's that off button?